Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much to the Senner Foundation and uh, to the team for giving us the opportunity of sharing our experience. Uh, we are the only couple presenting, so double, double thank you. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, we, we now have the opportunity of sharing our experience, uh, which is the experience of a financial advisory team. So very, very different from the experiences we have been following before uh, from Technalia and uh, from the Green Building Council. Um, so first of all, I, we hope to be at the same level of, uh, uh, let's say, quality of the previous presentations. Uh, we have been very impressed. Uh, I hope that everything we are going to explain is clear. Uh, of course, the, um, somehow the words and the expression we are going to use are very um, um, common in the financial market, in the financial sector, and possibly new to you. Uh, but I mean, any, any question is very welcome. I will start just saying a few words, not so much about uh, who we are. Uh, we are uh, a company uh, built in 2011 uh, from uh, somehow the idea of merging uh, sustainability, finance and energy and the industry uh, sector. Uh, so in this sense, uh, the, first, uh, the first somehow um, creators of this company have been the Unicredit Bank and the WWF Foundation. Uh, from the, the merge of this uh, uh, somehow shareholders. Uh, we started this experience in 2011. We have uh, a structure, a business model, which allows us to uh, somehow work as the energy efficiency group of the Unicredit Bank. So in this sense, uh, we are even an energy service company certified. Uh, and as you can imagine, uh, through some, uh, somehow the finance uh, that is uh, based uh, um, in the, this somehow part of our group, we are able to perform uh, somehow uh, renovations through the energy performance contracting methodology. Um, we use all the operating companies um, in our experience. I'm going to focus on uh, somehow the main projects that me and Angelo are following as uh, mainly financial and technical advisors. I'm going to share with you uh, just a short overview of uh, somehow even the evolution of the European Commission financing within the smart city scenario. Um, we had the chance of somehow starting with the previous FP7 uh, program uh, with the R2CD projects and uh, hopefully if you had the chance of uh, knowing a bit about this uh, FP7 program uh, within the smart city, the interventions were mainly focused in the energy efficiency sector. Um, uh, the, the, the following years, even uh, the intent intentions of the European Commission had a strong evolution and of course uh, were pushing for presenting these smart city interventions as an investment plan. Uh, the following year we started the Remo Urban uh, smart city projects um, and uh, already in this project we had uh, the challenge of somehow uh, presenting the, the investment plan as composed by in energy efficiency interventions, smart mobility and ICT uh, platform uh, installation. So as you can understand, this was a big step for us, uh, trying to explain to investors that even different kind of uh, interventions, especially from the technical point of view, could be presented as an investment plan. Um, the following year, uh, we started together with, uh, with Florencio and with Sener Foundation, the Smart, uh, Smart City Project Stardust, uh, that has now one year uh, of life, and we are now uh, especially working with him on uh, understanding how especially social housing uh, interventions uh, of retrofit can be presented as a very interesting business opportunity for investments. Um, we are now starting uh, the new Smart City project, which is a city exchange. Uh, is quite new. Started uh, this uh, the 
the week, uh, one week ago, this week, uh, and the European Commission is now pushing for presenting a smart city as an energy positive district. Um, as you can understand, uh, this is a big push from the European Commission, uh, that their request is uh, not just uh, somehow reducing the environmental impact in terms of uh, CO2 emission, uh, not just somehow um, uh, pushing for smart mobility, uh, for the sharing economy, and for somehow integrating all the infrastructures in um, the monitoring platforms and, and managing and control platform. They are pushing for uh, creating an energy market. Uh, what this means. This means that uh, somehow even the citizens can be uh, energy prosumer, means that the citizen can somehow even sell in energy. Uh, of course, as you can understand, uh, the application of this project has been uh, considered feasible because there is a big uh, somehow um, availability of the public authority in making flexible legislation, especially in those districts. It's not a case we are working in two countries, uh, one is the Norway and the second one is Ireland, uh, where uh, somehow legislation has, in some cases, more flexibility. Um, so this is more or less just an overview. We wanted to give you uh, an, an overview of the evolution in terms of requests of the European Commission, what they consider as Marseille now. So this is the overview of uh, what Angelo is going to present, uh, just some uh, inspirations in terms of uh, long-term generating concept, uh, what means uh, an ecosystem vision within the smart city scenario, uh, and then a lot of somehow topics uh, uh, related to funding instruments and financing mechanisms. Uh, we intended to start uh, in a light way. Possibly some of you uh, have watched this, uh, this series. It's a Spanish uh, series, that's why we, we use it as an example. Uh, maybe some of you or not. No one knows it. Some of you, right? Uh, so you know basically uh, what's the story, no? A funny one. Uh, some people intend to become rich, fast, so what they do is just, uh, uh, let's say, creating money. Uh, they enter into um, somehow the, um, the, the national mint of Spain uh, and they create money. They are saying, we are not stealing, we are creating money. All right, so now we are living in a condition where uh, we know it, uh, we are Italian and we are in Spain right now, so we know we don't have a national mint anymore. We are depending from the European Commission mint. So basically, let's say even our public authorities have a different somehow method for requesting uh, the somehow monetization of their, um, of their activities. Um, so, now that we live in this world, we need somehow to produce money or we just need to uh, somehow address the money in the right directions. Monies are available, but are in different, we call it uh, somehow locations. Uh, not so much anymore in the public authorities' power, but more in the private uh, players' power. So I, I just mentioned the last slide and I leave to Angelo uh, the, the following slides. Uh, for us it's, it's fundamental, I don't know, a lot of public authorities possibly are attending, uh, the umbrella concept. Um, let's say the ecosystem we are defining is mainly uh, a public authority umbrella. Uh, let's say that somehow uh, the money w can be created just empowering the local value chain that is somehow uh, generated at local level and this is possible even if as I said before uh, public authorities don't have money as before don't have the possibility of producing money as before it's possible if they empower this local value chain so um, we are just mentioning uh, some in, an interesting instruments which is called the urbis the new uh, urban investment advisory uh, that is another action uh, created by the european investment bank capital requirement and this is uh, uh, something interesting 
So I, I leave the power to Angelo for going ahead. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alessandra. Uh, we'd like to start with uh, the, uh, this concept. Uh, this uh, uh, already m mentioned by um, uh, my previous uh, colleagues, that is the long-term uh, perspective. Um, that is important uh, for us underlying this uh, this concept, because uh, uh, this uh, uh, lapse uh, is a key enabler concept in order to uh, deploy certain uh, investment plans at city level, especially at uh, smart city level. Uh, we, as Alessandra uh, showed before, uh, we were involved in uh, um, several uh, smart city projects. Uh, we found uh, uh, the diversification of the investment plan at a global level, but also at a uh, uh, parcelized level. And according to our experience, uh, the um, right lapse in order to generate uh, benefit for uh, financing, but also uh, for the social welfare, is around uh, 10 to 20 years. Um, due to, to several reasons. For example, a, um, a case study on uh, logistics and mobility or uh, the forthcoming uh, urban data as a shorter uh, return on investment. While our uh, pure retrofitting uh, intervention has a, a longer uh, return um, on investment. And uh, uh, one of the, the, the reasons is uh, the, the scarcity of available funds in order to, Im to, Im to implement a smart city uh, intervention is the low uh, return of uh, investment. While with this concept uh, is important and you will see uh, later why. Um, uh, uh, coming back to the, to the umbrella uh, concept, Successful case study underlined uh, that uh, uh, an ecosystem architecture at city uh, level, as suggest the urban planning uh, architect uh, before us, is a key issue for a real life investment of uh, plan activation. Uh, nowadays, currently, uh, the literature is focusing on the quadruple helix, while uh, quintuple helix uh, should overcome. So the engagement of all the, uh, the players at local level, from uh, policy, academia, uh, financing, media, and social, uh, and social uh, uh, players. These emerging instruments are social innovation but also uh, some uh, gamification tool because it's in, in, uh, there are uh, instruments that are very important in order to uh, enable the enablers. So uh, engage the citizen in uh, a co-design, a co-participative uh, co uh, co project. So, in fact, the engagement is, uh, uh, especially for the city enablers, is a, a, another is another milestone. In, uh, in the US, uh, where uh, city, smart city uh, projects are uh, ongoing, and also without uh, public funds, uh, some local venture groups uh, are, have been underpinned. So there are platforms uh, built for co-design uh, the local smart city visual, uh, sharing data, information. This approach uh, is a holistic approach. As a, uh, with Florencio, we have a, a Stardust project. It's a, a, an holistic, uh, in, in our motto, is an holistic uh, framework of our policy and our intervention and hopefully generating business. So uh, this decision-making process uh, cuts all the, uh, the stakeholders at local city. Uh, at local level, uh, deploying some medium long term vision, for example, 2030, 2040, and 50, and so forth and so on. 
Uh, another milestone is the uh, infrastructure. I will also uh, ask the, the, some feedback to the uh, policy officer uh, if uh, in uh, Horizon uh, Europe uh, or later on should be a massive, at, at the European uh, level, at the European uh, um, Commission level, a massive uh, reinvestment and modernization plan of infrastructure. This is a, a sentiment that uh, I have because uh, we uh, discover the maturity of the smart city intervention. At the same time, we organize the, uh, as the professor said before, the reorganization and the rebuilding of the uh, infrastructure. I think that uh, uh, this could be a third phase of uh, Smart City Integrated Infrastructure Policy. Uh, up to date, uh, Smart City's trends focus on city infrastructure and infrastructure at the integrated level. And this is important because we need to uh, engineer uh, Smart City uh, blending conventional funding and unconventional financing, uh, even trespassing uh, the stability pact rules that, uh, is, uh, that a lot of uh, urban uh, authorities, but also national authorities, are constraints. Uh, in, uh, similar to the previous one is uh, the, um, the packaging solution. The EIP-SCC marketplace coordinated by uh, all the, 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 the smart city project at, uh, in uh, FP7 and uh, H2020 framework individuates uh, for smart city uh, evaluation domains for four of them. There are smart lampos, electric mobility that is also infrastructure. It is also the third phase of the, um, the vehicle, uh, the vehicle uh, phenomena. So the, the city designed around the car, the city designed in order to expel the car, but uh, electric, uh, electric uh, infrastructure mobility uh, is uh, something that could uh, emerge also in terms of a positive energy district because there is the, 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 the so-called electric to vehicle uh, and so far and so on. And also, uh, so there is a Tampere representative, they are um, very, very addicted with uh, the electric mobility, the autonomous electric uh, mobility and so far and so on. The social housing and the urban platform that is uh, a very interesting in terms of uh, uh, case study uh, domain. Uh, some funding instruments. So the, 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 the remark is uh, trigger innovative investment, uh, you have to be creative. Uh, European uh, Union and European Commission co-funding initiative and programs uh, is one tool. ERDF, Horizon 2020, or Europe, and so far and so on, they fulfill the investment project funding gap. From the other side, there are tools which project costs are repaid by the city through some mechanism. There are property taxes, business taxes, municipal income taxes, and so far and so on. The emerging trends are user charges pay for performance model, asset disposals, and there are some uh, uh, models that are uh, showed later. For example, uh, the, uh, the so-called uh, as a service. So everything as a service is uh, the, uh, the current uh, uh, main uh, business model at city level. So everything is a service, since uh, mobility as a service, energy performance as a service, uh, house rental as a service, and so far and so on. On the other side, there are financing mechanisms. So the, the, first, the first two are uh, pure uh, public-private instruments, project financing, project promoter contribution, private contribution under uh, public-private uh, partnership, both institutional or not institutional. And there are other financing mechanisms, for example, bond financing, uh, pension fund and placement bonds, equity investment, this is really true for the infrastructure, 
venture capital crowdfunding, venture philanthropy, and the last one is a new instrument issued by the European Investment Bank uh, that is uh, settled for the um, technological providers, so namely innovative startups and so on, that are an incentive to the upfront cost for pilot uh, projects. Uh, because pilot, project is, uh, are, um, pilot projects are very important for uh, convince the market uh, f in order to invest because uh, they are first of a kind and they are a, a, a very scarce, uh, not a business model, but revenue model. Uh, we would like to underline one of uh, uh, the, the most uh, performing financing mechanism that could be uh, very interesting at a smart city level. That is the green bond. A green bond uh, is a not new, but relative, a relatively new, but uh, well-performing instrument in, or, in order, uh, in terms of uh, uh, amount of uh, issuing and also in terms of uh, uh, growth. Uh, is still uh, normalized in terms of uh, um, KPI in terms of reference by the European Commission and several international organizations that establish a certified domain in which you can issue a green bond, but there are also instruments, namely social bond and uh, um, environmental bonds. Echo. Uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a process. Uh, complicated, but at, uh, at now, in this moment, they could uh, attract some, a lot, several, several uh, funds that could be, uh, um, that could deploy the previous experience in smart city, at smart city level, that could uh, um, use a, uh, a weakness point of the smart city program at, at a European uh, framework level, that is the geopartization of the intervention, the fragmentation of the intervention. A smart city, uh, green bond, for example, in a, at a smart city project level, could be issued not covering the geographical dimension of the issuers. No? While a municipality could be a group of municipality of many urban authority. Market could be several market. Bank should be only one bank. But uh, this, uh, this uh, triangulum uh, could, could have several um, uh, declination. So, of course, there is a, a, a not uh, 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 simple process, but it's a feasible process. It's a, 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 a very liquid process that could generate the investment plan at city level. And you have the cash, the financing, in order to deploy investment plan. And uh, there are a lot of examples, a lot of issues, a lot of domains, but it's a thing, it's a very feasible uh, mechanism. This is another type of architecture of the, 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 the green bond uh, mechanism. Uh, of course, you have uh, diversified the risk, you have a low rate on green bonds issued by maybe a consortium. You have a, a, a high amount of total investment and you could implement more than one project, green project or sustainable project. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, we go faster, some uh, other financing mechanisms. There are uh, convenient forms of debt, equity, guarantees which could uh, income from public uh, uh, financial institution, for example, some EIB financing, uh, financial instrument, uh, blended 
possibly with uh, European Commission grants, there are investment loan, mezzanine and senior loan that are very important in order to uh, overcome the upfront cost and the, the necessary liquidity in order to, to, to deploy the investment plan. Some equity investment, some intermediate loans or investment uh, platform. Um, other financing uh, uh, funds and financing mechanisms are uh, vehicles used to pay, for, to pay for and generate revenue to service, to service costs related to traditional infrastructure uh, deployment and transition. We underline uh, three uh, uh, prom um, uh, available uh, case study. There are one related to the positive energy district concept, uh, concept related to the last project, uh, namely positive city exchange, that is the IoT and blockchain transaction for energy local market. This is a very forthcoming, a very, a very emerging uh, trend. Another, uh, another model is the car to go business model that is also in Madrid. That is a, a diversification of activity of the Daimler Group. That is a business model related to the mobility as a service, also electromobility as a service because they deploy uh, in electric infrastructure in the city and uh, with the, the city net uh, revenues mechanism. And another one is the, uh, comes from the, f the, 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 the third part of the smart uh, city project family, there are the urban data platform. Uh, urban data platform means a lot of big data, a lot of uh, uh, big data or big metadata that could be Monetize, monetized at, by local uh, authority. Uh, for which purpose, on depending on the, uh, the, the, um, the main urban authorities, could be for better service to the citizens or to resell to uh, big company or uh, small medium enterprise that want to create a business at local level. But it's a, 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 a non explore domain that could be uh, taken care of. Uh, the last one is a uh, um, circular slide. It's very related to the first one. While the long-term generating concept is important because according to the lat latest financial literature, private equity, again, a Netflix production <laughs> is the new black. So the biggest uh, firms might become the new banks, they are not linked with deposit or short-term funding, but they raise money from long-term investors, such as InsurTech, insurance company, uh, or pension funds. Over the last 10 years, private credit is the most performing, while vice versa, real estate, venture capital are the worst in terms of capital expenditure. Uh, okay, with uh, Florencio, we are working on uh, business model and financing scheme customization process uh, in order to um, encompass the creation of uh, new types of jobs at green uh, local value chain as a, uh, a, a baseline for bankable platform for innovation at smart city level. I want to... Um, uh, to underline only these things. So this is a customization process that we are deploying in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, um, in the Stardust project. So we start uh, with uh, the domains, the outside of domains, because business model is not uh, our general aim, but it's a, a mean by which we will deploy all of the four, these four uh, domains that are emerging or captive social needs, deploying certain technological innovation, utili using financial innovation, and establish emerging local uh, value chain, emerging markets. So this is the architecture of the business model that we are deploying in, uh, in Stardust. Of course, we will individuate the innovative business model for each city and per each domain we will, 
working on. Uh, last two things, the revenue sharing stabilization mechanism is very important, uh, especially for the energy um, efficiency intervention. Uh, uh, and it's also important for enable new public-private uh, partnership uh, uh, models in order to front and investment uh, uh, costs. Uh, and uh, last two, two the, uh, a lot of emerging ESCO business model related to the energy efficiency or the energy market uh, intervention. Just two, three things, enabling ESCO TSO, DSO, and SMO, that is the emerging role in the, in the supply chain, because smart meters operator should be uh, a very dominant uh, role, should have a very dominant role in the, in the, the, in the, um, the local energy market. And the scientific uh, literature identified four main barriers there, the market, information, financing, and structural administration institutional uh, barrier. Uh, while uh, a business model, we uh, take care of value proposition, revenue model, customer market segment, and certain risk. Just two, three, uh, two slides, there are uh, some uh, uh, business model for ESCO. There is the one-stop one -stop shop, Contracting, performance, and credit risk. This one. Okay, it's not clear, but maybe when you will leave, uh, when you will have the slide, you will see there are financing, financial institution, client, utility, user, and others, and there are the the, the flow of uh, risks and financing. They are named: energy, payment, payment. Uh, rental and so forth and so on. The uh, EPC, the APC, another one, and uh, this, uh, this last also the, the APC, energy price and credit risk are with performance. The last one is, the, is more focused, uh, underlying the innovation of distributed energy by blockchain and by the local presuming or by the positive energy uh, district uh, post intervention with the, 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 the pivotal role of uh, the smart meters operator or there are so consumers so prosumer, uh, consumer and producers are quite overlapping okay that's it thank you very much